Hi everybody, this is Tom. I just want to welcome you to our very first train blog episode. Just wanted to show you around our layout that we've started. It's probably been about a month since we started this. Um, we had a gentleman who helped us put together the table and we've ordered a lot of the track. Uh, used a program called AnyRail to do the track design which has helped out quite a bit. And uh, just going to show you all what we've got right now and also to document the progress with the layout. I'll show you in a minute. So it's July 4th today and as you can see we've gotten a good bit of work done. Um, like I said there's a gentleman who has helped us put together the train table. He's done a really fantastic job using uh, 4x4 four four or 3x3 three three posts underneath as you might be able to see as well as some uh, very thick plywood built some train shelves underneath for storage and also along the wall here some uh, train shelves for storage of uh, various things as well. The track that we're using we decided to use we've used Lionel for quite a while now the fast track and I grew up on Lionel the uh, old tubular rail kind of three rail stuff but you know after looking at some blogs uh, over the past probably a couple months we decided on uh, Atlas O-Gauge track and that's what we have here. Um, I used a program called AnyRail like I mentioned before that's really helped us you know understand what we can fit onto the table and where and so we've used that uh, program quite a bit and done some design redesign we've probably gone through 15 iterations of track plans. Um, Another thing we like about the, o, the uh, Atlas O is that there's a really good uh, variety of switches that we can use on the layout. You can see these large uh, number five turnouts that make a nice transition piece. Most of the switches are O36, uh, but uh, the radius of the track varies from O36, nothing less than that, uh, O45 even some pieces of 081 and so on. So you can see it's quite a quite a mess right now. We can see some of the tools that we're using, uh, the drills to screw the track down. We've used a Dremel tool here and there, especially some of the transition pieces where we've had to actually cut a larger piece of straight track and you know here put it in between the switches so that the uh, wouldn't get interference with the switch motor, that sort of thing it all comes in handy. So just want to show you where we are starting from. Um, right now we're going to have this one level kind of get it all set up. Uh, we're busy today uh, putting in this this flex bed. Uh, very good foam based uh, bed for the track and it's very you know very forgiving. You're, it's not like cork where you have to split it in two although I'm going to use some of the cork on uh, inside the tunnels because I, I bought that stuff first so I want to use it up not waste it. We have this first level first and then we're going to go and then put in a second upper level with some mountains and cut throughs and tunnels to make it really interesting. And As you can see we have a pretty extensive yard out here. Uh, we're going to have a nice engine shed um, on this section here that uh, we'll have to put together. We've got various pieces of uh, scenery and buildings here. A lot of these are from my childhood when I was four and five years old. This Lionel uh, station and switch, uh, switch control tower were on my layout. Um, bought some really cool stuff, uh, Menard Cycle Shop. And there's a little store right there with an add-on that's pretty neat too. So. Anyway, this will give you a first look at what we're doing, and hopefully we'll have something cool to show you very shortly. And hopefully you'll enjoy these little episodes as we go along. If you have any questions along the way, uh, please let us know. We'll see you soon. Bye.